It is a list you do not want to be at the top of, but Flint is there once again. For the third year in a row, the city of Flint has secured the top spot on the FBI's most violent cities list. NBC 25's Brittany Shannon live at the state police post in Flint Township telling us how authorities are fighting back against violent crimes. Well, Bill, officials tell me that the data released in this report does not accurately represent Flint's current state of violence. They say they've taken many steps within the past year that are working to cut down on crime in some of Flint's most dangerous neighborhoods. Kenitra Williams, her boyfriend Demetrius, and their two kids wanted out of Flint's most violent neighborhood. We was moving out in two weeks. We only had two weeks to go. Their plans stalled after Williams says her boyfriend was shot and killed Tuesday night by police. Police say two undercover officers approached the suspect. He ran and then pulled a gun. More times than not, like I said, you are going to uh, run into these types of incidents. The officers were patrolling the Evergreen Regency townhomes as a proactive measure. It's part of the state's Safe Streets initiative. They're looking for suspicious activity. They're uh, looking to prevent crime. Um, they're there to uh, attempt to make these communities safer for these people. Safer and off the FBI's most violent cities list. This is a terrible distinction for the city. With more than 2,700 violent crimes reported in 2012, Mayor Walling says other measures are making a difference. The Flint City lockup is now open, getting criminals off the streets and out of community. Very nice people in those communities and they're terrified. You know, uh, won't even allow the kids to come out and play. We need to work, you know, as a local community as well as with the state uh, so that Michigan you know, becomes one of the safest states in the country. Now back to the shooting from Tuesday night. Both of those troopers involved in that shooting have been placed on administrative lead. It is protocol for the Michigan State Police. But there is some good news out of this report as well. The city is down in property crimes by 14%.